what's good. Today I'm going to show you a bunch of work from home outfit ideas. All of these outfits are very comfortable, but they're also still like cute and put together. I have been working from home for the past like three to four years. And one of the biggest things that I've learned is that looking and feeling put together is really a key component when working from home. Because if you wear something that's too comfortable, trust me when I say, you will get nothing done. <laughs> so here are a bunch of comfortable, but still put together work from home outfits. I'm giving you one outfit for every day of the work week. So let's start with Monday. Monday is very casual and very comfortable. It's your classic jeans and a t-shirt. I know everyone watching this is freaking out about the jeans, but hear me out. I normally hate wearing jeans in the house, but that's because the jeans that I was wearing were not very comfortable. The jeans that I'm wearing in this outfit are loose fitting, distressed, and are made from a very soft denim material. It actually feels like I'm wearing sweatpants just with a little bit more structure, but I can still move my legs and my body as if I'm wearing sweatpants and I feel way more put together, not lazy and motivated to do things while still being comfortable. I'm wearing this white Supima cotton crew neck tee that I got from Uniqlo like five or so years ago. It was like $9, honestly the best $9 I have ever spent. And I'm a huge fan of wearing jewelry at home because even though I'm just wearing jeans and a t-shirt, the jewelry really steps up how I feel about what I'm wearing. I don't know if anyone feels the same way, but I just feel more empowered when I'm wearing gold, so I'm always wearing my jewelry even when I'm at home. Also, if you have to hop on a Zoom call, jewelry will really look like you have it together, even if you're only wearing a t-shirt. Tuesday's outfit is one of my faves. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you guys know that I always stress how important it is to have pants that aren't pajamas, but feel like pajamas. These pants are one of them. They're lightweight, stretchy, and look very chic paired with this mock neck sweater. This mock neck sweater is also pretty lightweight, but it is made from a really nice high quality knit fabric. Wearing high quality fabrics at home will instantly make you feel like you're more put together because when we're at home, we're usually in sweatpants or pajamas or t-shirts or t-shirts as pajamas. Feeling a different type of fabric on your body will alter your attitude when you're doing work inside your home. And this was just a little stylistic choice, but I tucked my hair into my sweater to make it look très chic, but it did keep my hair out of my face. So if for some reason you don't have a hair tie, here's an option for you. <laughs> Speaking of sweatpants, you can still wear sweatpants when you're working from home. The key is what you pair your sweatpants with. If you pair sweatpants with a hoodie, you're gonna feel very lazy. Trust me, I fooled myself way too many times. The key to wearing sweatpants when working from home is to wear a tight fitting top. A tight fitting top will humble you real quick and keep you on your toes. I noticed that when I wear a tight fit top or even like a crop top, I'm way more aware of my posture. So if you're gonna wear sweatpants at home, make sure you're pairing them with a top that keeps you on your toes so you don't fall into that dark hole of Netflix and chill. Also, because I know people are gonna ask, these glasses are prescription and the frame is by Ray-Ban. I love Thursday's outfit. I'm wearing this gray turtleneck and a loose flowy button up top tucked into another pair of feels like pajamas but aren't pajamas pants. These pants are awesome because they look like legit pleated work pants, but they're so flowy and lightweight, they feel like pajamas. And I love that they have a wide leg because they're not constricting as I'm working. A lot of people don't like wearing turtlenecks at home because it makes them uncomfortable. I personally love it because it feels like a hug, like a neck hug. <laughs> but if you don't like turtlenecks, just try a sweater or a long sleeve shirt. This layered look is so put together, but still so comfortable. You'll shock yourself every time you pass by your mirror. 
I really like wearing my hair up when I'm working because I don't like having it in my face, but regardless, if you're wearing a turtleneck, it's just a good idea to put your hair up. You'll just feel better. Trust me. Can you tell I love sweaters? Friday's outfit is another cozy outfit that's appropriate for those conference calls or classes at Zoom University. It's literally just a basic white button down, which everyone should have in their closet, by the way. It's a classic basic. On top, I'm wearing this oversized varsity sweater that I got from opening ceremony. Again, high quality pieces will elevate your mood and attitude like no other. I'm wearing this gold herringbone chain from Madewell. I just thought it was a really nice touch and these bottoms are knit leggings. They're like regular leggings, except they look better. <laughs> and those were five work from home outfits, one for every day of the work week. You can alter these however you want. You can add a cardigan, swap out pants, just do whatever feels more comfortable for you, but still motivates you to work. That's the key component there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if this gave you some inspiration for your own work from home outfits. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.